Hey YouTube, it's Monica and I'm here with my homeschool check-in and I just want to tell you what we're up to today. Um, one of the first things that I wanted to tell you about and show you how to use were these little uh, base tin cards. Oh, that's funny. They're for different amounts. These are for hundreds. These are for ones. These are for tens. And these are for thousands. So I'm, we're going to do a little work. <laughs> We're going to do a little work um, with Matt today and show you how I'm using those and just show you some of the other stuff that we're up to. So here's our little cards that we're going to do some stuff with. Here's the, um, this is the Right Start Math book that my daughter, who is six, is working through. Um, and they kind of skip around on topics when you do this Right Start Math. This is the um, Level B lessons. And they, they do kind of skip around. And sometimes... Um, it's good for both kids. Um, same with this. This is, we're just starting this one. This is um, level D. And um, this is from my nine year old that we're going through. And there he is right now working on his spelling. <laughs> She's doing her math work still. She's, uh, hopefully, at some point soon, she'll have these memorized. I'm sure she will. She actually has a lot of them memorized. She can use this as a reference. We're going to do some history right there gonna write some write a couple thank you cards and they've done a little clockwork and that's what we're up to so far okay so Marlo how much is this Thousand. good how many hundreds are in that can you say the word please ten, ten hundreds are in what a are in a thousand okay so which is more ten hundred or one thousand <laughs> A thousand is more than ten hundred? Okay. Can you show me ten hundreds, please? <coughs> Here, I'll, I'll get this out of here. Oh, come on. Here. Ten hundreds. Those are ten hundreds? You sure you want to count Wait. them? So, okay, hang on a sec. How much is this? Is it a hundred? No. How many tens are in a hundred? Ten. Okay. So, how many tens do you see here? Ten. Ten. Okay. So, how much is this? Ten. No, the whole thing. That's a hundred. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna sip. Uh oh, smoothie time. Have a sip. Okay. Break down real quick. One more? Oh, okay. Mama doesn't like smoothies around all the math stuff. Okay, so so this is a hundred, right? Okay. So can you show me ten can you count out ten hundreds? Two. Okay, so we're doing right start math right now. And it tells you to go through this. So we got <laughs> We did this, no problem. She, she understood that. This part is what we're doing now. She didn't get the right answer, so I'm trying to lead her to figure out the right answer on her own. These cards, this is basically this, this thing right here. She has some familiarity with that. And then also, I have these, which are these things. This is called, uh, these are called base 10 cards, and these are, um, these things here are called interlocks, base 10 tote, it says. Base 10 units, interlocks, base 10 units. How many tens, how many hundreds do you have? No, 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 we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that right now. 10. 10. Okay, so you have 10 hundreds. So let's count it up, say, say. One, one hundred. One hundred, two hundred, three. Wait a minute, two hundred. Three hundred. Four hundred. Wait, I haven't got there yet. Uh -huh. Wait, I haven't got to the nine yet. Nine. Ten hundred. Okay, ten hundred. What's another way of saying this? A thousand. So which is more, ten hundred or a thousand? Huh? Ten hundred. Ten hundred's more? Hmm. 
Can you use these two things to show me a thousand on one and show me ten hundred on the other and then show me why one is more? Which one is ten hundred? Wait, they're both the same. <gasps> what? Are you sure? So which one's ten hundred? Which one are we gonna call ten hundred? <laughs> you're gonna call this one ten hundred? Okay. And which are you gonna call this one? Okay, and they're the same, right? So I gave Marlo a bunch of cards and she's going to organize them. Now what your job is, is to make that into a number with these place value cards. Oh no. And I just, I know you've seen them Marlo, but I want to show people who haven't seen them. So if I wanted to make 1,554, that's how it works. So just to kind of help the kids understand that the 500 is separate from the 1,000, which is separate from the 50, and you're just sort of adding them all together. It just sort of helps them understand a little better. Okay, so now your turn. How many thousands do you need? We'll start over there with your thousands. You need to find the right thousands. So how many do you need? Six. Six. Good, you got your thousands. And what's the next thing that you need to find? Hundreds. Okay, how many hundreds do you have? Five. Five, okay. And again, guys, this is all from this Right Start Math. This is not like I'm some math genius. I'm not a... <laughs> well, I am a math genius, I suppose. But no, I'm not a teacher. I'm not a teacher is my point. Um, and, and this is great. It has a great thing. And then if you feel like you need to supplement, you just get like one of these little books and you just write them out problems if you feel like it's not quite linear enough. But I just, I love all the visual stuff that they get. Helps them understand things better. So you did 500, and now you need the 510, which is 50. You can say it either way. And then what's next? Who messed that up? Oh, my gosh. I don't know who messed that up. Who messed that up? Me? <laughs> I'm way over here. <laughs> All right. Okay, can we say this number now? A I can make a giant number. Do you think you can say that number? 6,000... Five hundred and fifty upside down. Uh oh. Fifty five. Wow! Hooray, Marlo! <laughs> okay, so right now my daughter is working on her math that I was just showing you, and um, and my son is reading a book about ants um, because a lot of people have questions of you know if you have kids at different ages how do you manage that? Well, you know you have to have them working on things that, that don't take your supervision. So if you are working with one child and they need help, like she needs help right now with her math, then the other child needs to be doing something that doesn't require your attention. So he is reading a book about ants. What are you learning here with this? It's actually really interesting. Okay, you know, babysitters you... may carry the little ones outside to get some sunlight. <laughs> Okay. Four thousand three hundred and eighty right now. All right. One, two, three, four, five, seven. This one says they can lift ten times from a rig. <laughs> really? Four thousand three hundred eighty seven. Very good. Okay, I hope that that was helpful and um, especially the right start math stuff. We're doing a lot more today, but um, most of the things that we're working on uh, require a lot more hands-on mommy time today. So anyway, hope you guys are having a great day with your homeschool, and um, please click thumbs up and share if you like this video. Have a great day.